What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Crypto Lucian, where we talk about everything under the moon, the crypto universe. Today is Friday, September 1st. In today's video, we're going to be talking about D Gods on Ethereum and also Utes on Polygon. We have seen some massive accumulation of both of these NFTs, but we're going to be covering some new things, such as the orientation that happened for the D Gods community and also for the Utes community. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you what's been happening with the Utes NFT collection because we have seen some whales buy buy the dip and accumulate as much U NFTs as possible. So with that said, if you want to hear all this news, you have to subscribe to the channel. You better like that button. And most importantly, please join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. Right now, the D-God's floor price on Blur right now is around 4.41 Ethereum. Now, we have seen some accumulation of these NFTs and it has jumped up to around 4.5. But again, we are far past our lows, which used to be around 3.33 Ethereum. We may not see those prices anymore. Now, when we look at what happened recently, we had an orientation meeting. Now, what is the orientation? Well, basically, this was announced only 24 hours from this event happening. And the orientation was basically where everybody can meet up from different communities. So if you're a part of the D God community, you can meet up with other D God holders. If you're a part of the U community, you can meet up with different U holders. It was actually quite amazing because it was kind of done in a raffle where you would be paired up with random people in a meeting and you get to get to know other holders and why they decided to be a part of these NFTs, what motivated them to be a part of the Web3 community. And also you got to hear some great insights from the founders as well. And this is why it's so important to join their Discord because on their Discord, they send all the alerts and all the notifications around these different events. And there's a lot of events like around the world. Like literally we have another one happening pretty soon in Asia. And also we have some coming up in Miami as well for the Art Basel event. Now, next up, we can talk about who's been attending these orientation meetings. Well, we have Steveverse, who is a person that I met over at one of the D-Gods events that happened here in LA and Venice Beach. He was able to speak with not only the other Ute and D-God holders, but also you got to meet Frank and Taylor and one of the artists as well. Now, what else is there? I was also able to meet Blair. Now, Blair was one of the people that minted one of these rare one-on-one -on -one Ute NFTs, which is this very golden right here. Absolutely a great steal, definitely worth a lot of money. But I was able to meet him and a few other people, like say for instance, this person right here, Pasta Got Sauce. I met, he's from Australia, which was absolutely amazing. I got to literally talk to people across the world and just made me really excited that this isn't just a small community, it's literally global. Now, this is a really fun one. This is from Mythical Dylan. Now, Mythical Dylan ended up actually doing a shoey with most of these different people. Now, not everybody had a shoe. Some had wine glasses or cups, but they all ended up doing a shoey and they record the whole session, which is absolutely so funny, but also so great. Now, next up, we also have Luke Cannon that said, this was the whole point of the orientation, right? It gave him some certain feels and walk away moments, which was it had nostalgic videos. So during your waiting time, they would play like either a D God or Ute video introduction during your wait. And it would play these really cool songs and really cool visual elements to kind of make you feel like this is a cool waiting room before this actual Q&A starts. They had breakout rooms where you can actually meet other people, but also you had a Q&A to speak with him and also the team members, which was Frank, and just ask any questions that you have. So I actually ended up asking one of those questions, which was, the time has come. What's the Alpha Unmute season two? Now, I'm not going to say anything on this channel. You had to have been there to kind of understand like what they're building. So just keep in mind, there will be more orientations, I think, later on down in the future. And I think that this type of format is a great way to meet other holders. Now, another thing I want to share with people are the D God sales that happened recently on Blur. As you can see, a ton of sales. The reason this is important is because a lot of people have been wondering, you know, some of these NFTs don't have any points or have very little points because some of the people that decided to buy their NFT, they decided, you know, I'm going to use all those points and then liquidate my positions and just like take out whatever liquidity I can. But regardless of that, still people bought those dips, even regardless of the little amount of points are in each D God NFT, because I think that they know that each NFT accrues in value. It's not just about the points, but the actual NFT itself may accrue in value, maybe next to Board API Club because it's a blue chip and has developed the most transaction volumes next to those other blue chips as well on Ethereum. Now, another thing I want to share with you is this really funny news that this D God, which was on Solana, 
Now, this was sold for around one Solana, which was around 20 US dollars. Now, that could have been a technical error, but regardless, it was actually quite funny because people, or at least DJ News, reported it and people are flipping out. But who knows? Maybe it didn't sell for one Solana. Maybe it was just simply transferring it to another wallet that the owner had. Now, the last thing I want to share with you about DGods is that this guy named Loop X NFT said, Can DGods release more art so we have something to talk about again? Thanks. You know, a reply to that it was actually Frank, Frank, the founder, and he said, yes. And it looks like we may expect more art upgrades with this NFT within D-God season three. We don't know as of yet, but it looks very exciting based on what I'm seeing. All right, let's go ahead and follow it up. And the last thing is going to be the Utes NFT because have you noticed that the floor price has jumped up to 1.16 Ethereum? It actually jumped as high overnight at around 1.2 Ethereum. Now, just to give everybody a little bit of a breakdown, this floor price used to be a little bit below one Ethereum. And the furthest dip that we saw was around 0.73 Ethereum. And then we saw it hold above a one Ethereum floor price and even hovered a little bit beneath that. But now we've seen some massive accumulation over these NFTs. So right now, I think people are understanding that Utes season two is next. Let's go ahead and look into the analytics right now, because right now, like we said, it was hovering around one Ethereum as its support level, it dipped a little bit down, but then jumped up massively because we saw some massive sales in that time. Now, within those 24 hours, how many sales or how many NFTs were bought? Around 47 NFTs and around 56 Ethereum was spent in total circulation trading volume. Now, as you can see here, we can see that right now, people are sometimes even buying well below the floor price, such as 1.25 rather than just one ethereum now let's go ahead and go to those recent sales now these are the recent sales and it was kind of from one wallet we started to notice that this wallet right here 3d68b7 was the one that bought a ton of these but i don't think this is this the only wallet that was buying these nfts once people saw that this person was accumulating other people started accumulating as well which is why we're hovering around 1.16 ethereum now let's go into some other news because who's been buying a ton of these so say for instance we have cramrog who owns a ton of these nfts which is an amazing feeling from based on what i'm seeing he's got a lot of great grails from the mickey or the mickey Utes hat we got the 24k shoey the block halo we also have the crazy helmet here the devil horns the 60 glasses and he's got his crown as well and also we have this person who ended up getting this nft and said this he wanted everybody to know that he had listed his u nfts in order to get a new d god but now he's delisted all of those because he believes in frank and also his co-founder kevin d gods now another great sale was this noun glasses that recently sold for around 2.9 ethereum we cover this type of trait a lot on our channel because again there's a lot going on with this trait or at least known as the nouns dao which has been retitled to the verbs dao and what i'm hearing based on the rumors around the verbs dao is that they're being given some potential investment opportunities compared to most other DAOs, which is actually kind of cool and who knows what those investments may be maybe it's for other web3 blockchain uh, industries or developments or technologies who, who knows what it is but this is actually kind of cool last thing i want to share with you is this now bayer evo said this he says 1.1 people know about utes are going to eth and we do know that utes is going to be migrating to eth very soon since it's right now on polygon and he was referring to this how many people viewed this actual tweet that happened on the utes page but the project only has a supply of around 15,000. you do the math so if that many people know about Utes, imagine when the supply starts to migrate over to Ethereum, what the floor price could be on those actual NFTs. Now, I want to go ahead and conclude this video because I want to share with you my personal thoughts on DGods, and then I want to talk about Utes. DGods floor right now is hovering around this price for quite some time, and hopefully we can hear more updates regarding art upgrades or maybe more points parlor updates but right now i think the main focus should be around utes but d gods is a great collection right now and i think people are just trying to get exposure to at least one of these nfts because it's very affordable for them but also they're trying to find the ones with the most points so right now the points parlor is the most attractive thing happening with d gods now let's go ahead and finalize with utes Utes is one of those collections that's absolutely undervalued and i'm telling you right now anything below 3.33 ethereum is absolutely undervalued why why do I keep saying 3.33? Now, you must be wondering like, well, why would I buy a collection right now, 1.16? I mean, there's no guarantee it's gonna go to 3.33. Now, considering that the lowest price is hovering around like $1,900, I'm just letting everybody know you have to do your own research before investing in this. This is not any way financial advice. This is just educational purposes only. This is for your own entertainment. So with that said, I really feel that the goal of hitting 3.33 Ethereum is in the cards because the community knows it. 
The reason D Gods hit a support level around 3.33 Ethereum during the recent dip with Machi Big Brother buying a whole bunch of those NFTs is because the community understood like we have to hold this line. But also with the Utes collection aiming to be around 3.33 Ethereum, I think that's gonna be try to be the new support level. That's why it's interesting that people are accumulating much of these NFTs because they know that right now, the reason it's at this price point on Polygon is because it's on Polygon. Not many people can actually buy it. But once it migrates over to Ethereum, maybe the floor price may dip a little bit. Maybe it may have some manipulation on the Blur because again, this collection is going to be available on Ethereum, which means it's going to be available on Blur. So there's going to be a lot of bid orders, a lot of fill orders. It's going to be a lot of whales owning these NFTs. And that's why a lot of the people are trying to accumulate these NFTs right now to be the whales before bigger whales of Ethereum start buying the bulk of this and manipulating it. So that's what they're trying to do on Polygon or at least the Ute holders are trying to take ownership to prevent that from happening. So when that does happen, I do think that maybe we'll hover between one to two Ethereum in terms of Blur and ETH, and then it's gonna maybe take a month or two to reach 3.33. That's just my thoughts, not a prediction, just my thoughts. So make sure to leave a comment down below so we can read your thoughts around how you feel around D-God's units and we cannot wait to read them. So with that said, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls in both buy and sell orders, both NFTs and cryptocurrencies, and also my strategy that I have for Ute's NFT collection. Until then, see you guys and girls next time.